Yo, this is Mike, Ringmaster of the Imagination Circus, and I'm here to do something I haven't done in a while. We'll be doing a MLP-themed episode of Why I Ship It, obviously, since you already know if you've read the title or whatnot. And right now we're going to be doing the ship of one Trixie Lilla Moon and Discord, the Spirit of Chaos. Now, this might be uh, something of a minority ship, or at least I think it is, since I haven't seen much in the way of uh, materials, you know, arts and whatnot, based on it or in reverence to it. And again, I was never a big fan of the Flutter Chord ship. I never really understood it. The way I saw that relationship, it was always like Discord was a child clinging to a parent or an older sibling as a sort of security blanket. And don't get me wrong, I love the friendship between him and Fluttershy, but I prefer it to stay that way, just as friends. Whereas, when we finally got to see him interact with Trixie, it was great. And true, we've only had really three episodes with them in the same space, more or less back-to-back -back with the two-part season six finale, along with the season seven premiere. But, and again, in the season seven premiere, they only interacted a little bit, but it worked. Uh, because from the moment those two started interacting on screen in the finale for season six, there was a tension there. A beautiful, glorious tension. And it was ridiculous. It's kind of, uh, weird, to say the least. I don't know what it is. That's the thing about shipping, isn't it? It's like, Sometimes it just happens for you. Like, you know, for me, I, I, for me, it just sort of happens. I never know when it's going to happen. And the moment I first watched that, and to hear, to wear him back again or is one of my favorites. So the fact of the matter is that uh, this part is this part of it. Because them fighting, bickering with each other, even though it is quite a different, dangerous situation, and despite the fact that Discord's focus is completely on Fluttershy, it comes off very much to me like they're flirting. Maybe I don't know a thing about flirting, but that's how it comes off to me. And it's just fun and fantastic. And like I I said I just could never see Discord and Fluttershy actually being a couple. I'm sorry. Again, I I, I have I have tend to have these weird ships that tend to be off to the side. I don't go for the main the main ships a lot, and this is a good example of that because this is a pr I'm pretty sure a fairly uncommon ship. I mean, I'm pro I I I have to not be the only one. There's no way I'm the only one, but I'm probably one um, one of a few, just a few. And so this just all comes off like flirting to me. It's so great, especially and even though what we we don't really haven't seen them much together outside of a tiny bit at the premiere of volume volume I've been talking too much about ruby volley chap season season seven and despite the few minor things in season seven premiere the, the two we haven't really seen them interact all that much let me let me explain why I ship these two from a personality standpoint. Now, uh, for one thing, these two both have egos, and it's always interesting to have two characters on screen who both just have huge egos. And it's interesting, like, take this scene from Infinity War where we get the confrontation on the ship, or even earlier than that, but mostly on this ship, between Tony Stark and and Dr. Stephen Strange. The two butt heads, they, call, they insult each other, and it's mostly because they are both leaders with a confrontational, egotistical kind of personality. They don't do well with their, it's, I mean, they, they definitely have, they're definitely different. They're very different people, but they are also similar. Just similar enough. And it's entertaining to watch them. And that's another thing about just Discord and, uh, ah, Trixie. I don't know why I was having, I think I was about to say her last name for some reason. But the point is, they're super entertaining to watch and they both have egos. And the kind of trouble they could get into e together would be great. We could get some great scenarios from just the two butting heads or if the situation arose, working together again like they did in from wearing back yeah well from wearing back again. Ah, cool. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that. Point is, these two are great together when they're on screen. They're entertaining. They're funny. I enjoy watching them a whole lot. 
And again, imagine just with these two, if they were together, imagine if they both had a relapse and they both went bad together. Maybe not to the extreme that Discord did when he teamed up with Tyrek, because I don't think he would go that far again, but maybe get Trixie to, like, influence him, because she's still got a lot to learn about not doing really stupid things. Uh, for instance, the teleportation fa uh, fiasco when it all bottled up. But uh, together, these two would have an excellent and entertaining adventure, maybe do something they didn't realize they were having. Imagine this, a, a situation where the two have no choice but to hang out together because their usual companions of Starlight and Fluttershy are both absent. They and everybody else they might otherwise hang out with are gone. So the two have no choice but to hang out together. They're, they butt heads entertainingly. They kind of flirt, as it were, or were not, depending on your point of view. And then suddenly Trixie gets a terrible, awful idea of the most wonderfully, terribly awful variety. She then goes down bringing Discord with her into trouble. And... They don't mean anything malicious by it, but they do some things, who knows, maybe they pull a prank or two, but something goes horribly wrong. And suddenly the main six, Starlight, whatever, they have to follow them and fix the situation because these two are having so much fun doing whatever the hell they're doing, causing trouble, butting heads, that they don't even know that they're causing that much trouble and they don't know that they're being followed. And it ends with them learning some sort of lesson and maybe hanging out more in the future, being better friends. It would be fantastic. And then there's the end scene, and I think this is really what solidified it for me, is this end scene where Trixie and Discord talk, and he really comes off like he's flirting with her, like, and, and as only Discord can. So, I'm able to rip the very fabric of reality again. Yeah, yeah, and I'm still a self-absorbed, below-average illusionist, right? Actually, I was going to say a couple of those illusions were slightly above average. If you ever need a little chaos in your act, let me know. Ha! When pigs fly! Your wish is my command! Yeah, it's not much. But for me, I mean, let's be honest, ships have been built on less, like a lot less. Like sometimes I I just question why people ship characters. This is not one of those times. I just like this is why I ship them. And honestly, outside of that, I feel like they make more sense as a kind of chemistry pair. Yeah, like all, as uh, all things considered, like Trixie is kind of an uh, an a below average magician or not even in a magician but at the very least a below average unicorn when it comes to using actual magic meanwhile discord is the spirit of chaos who can bend reality to his will and between that the fact that they're both former villains and they both have this sort of ego and there's something about them that just works for me and i i don't know i i honestly don't feel like i could describe it better than that but i think between that and the fact that they are, have the the potential to be just a really funny couple and a really troublesome couple and i feel like if they actually went with this in the show they could get some great scenarios and for me if great scenarios from a couple are always a good reason to have them happen like i said i just I can't see it working between Fluttershy and Discord. I, I know I've this is the third time I've said that. I can't help it. I want to emphasize how much I don't understand that one. I might need to start... <sighs> Maybe I should start an, uh, a, another series called Why I Don't Ship It, because... Uh, hey. Or maybe I could make that part of this show somehow. I don't know. I'm still figuring this out. But the point is, these two together is just fun as far as I'm concerned. It's not irritating to me. The like And Discord, for me, is not one of my favorite characters. I like him like so many other people do, but I don't love him. The performance is great. His design is great. But he does get on my nerves sometimes. A lot more than a lot of other characters that are on screen. I know of all characters, I'm always the outlier. Even the characters I find annoying are the ones you don't often find people annoyed with. Or at the very least, it's split down the middle. I don't know. How how many of you genuinely dislike Discord? And how many, many of you would probably lay down your lives for Discord? Metaphorically speaking, because you know, strong emotions like that are not healthy, even in real life. Regardless, 
The point I'm trying to make is that he's somehow less annoying when he's interacting with Trixie. And hell, Trixie was a pretty annoying character too. Less annoying to me, yes I know. After her first episode, she didn't get on my nerves as much. But going forward, not only was she fun, but when her and Discord finally got to meet, it was great. So many fun interactions. There was more than an air of, uh, let's say... The tension of attraction, for lack of a better term. Tension of attraction. Just saying, because there are certain things I'm unwilling to discuss on screen to my YouTube audience. I'm sorry. I try to be subtle. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't do it correctly. Point is, when these two are together, it's just fun, and I kind of wish we could get more of them. Maybe we will in season nine. I ship them. I might do something about that. At the very least, I'll probably write fan fiction about them. Though, with my luck, I probably won't start writing it or publish it until long after the show has been canceled. Regardless, this is my first MLP ship on this show, and maybe that's not a good enough reason. Maybe their egos aren't a good enough reason. Maybe just the scenarios I brought up aren't a good enough reason. But I find them entertaining. I hope you do too. And I would love to see more of them together in whatever capacity in the future. So please, if you feel so inclined, come back for more. This is Mike, Ringmaster of the Imagination Circus. Thank you.